Ladies and gentlemen, the two and a half amigos. God, these guys are loco. <laughs> if you're looking for a responsible, mature podcast, this ain't it. If you're looking for a lot of drinking, random nonsense, stunts and shenanigans, and some of the hottest comedians in the world, you've hit the jackpot. It's the two and a half amigo with your hosts, Albert, Scott, and Mark. Whose mic? Oh, yeah. did you have his on and not mine? <laughs> I true. couldn't hear shit. Yeah, there we go. Hello, hola, hola. Oh, wait, hola. No. Hola is too uh, cliche now, right? So we got to do something. It's too much. Um, what do we? What should we call? What should we do now? What do you mean? Oh, donde esta biblioteca? To get us Papa Frita, come to Big Mac. All right. Yes. All right. That's that'll be. That's like our. Coming. That's Albert's here for the day. And that was it. Yeah. We got Albert's Mexican. Uh, he did not show up he today. He was bilingual, yeah. non-representado. No guests this episode, but we may have a surprise appearance as we roll into some of our topics. Ooh, uh, fancy. Yeah, a little bit, right? Um, so let's let let's do a couple intros real quick. Not intros, but uh. Uh, promos real quick. Outros? Uh, promos. Okay. Yeah. So one of our best, not bad, well, yeah, our best, our, our, our favorite, right, uh, promo that we do is uh, Blow Your Mind Sweets. Yes. Uh, the most delicious ice cream I have ever had. I agree. Yes. Cheesecake-based ice cream flavors. They have a flavor for every nationality. All locally grown. Yeah. Locally um, farmed. Um, or ingredients. Ingredients. There yeah, you go. There materials. Yeah, they're materials. building. They're building a. Yeah, they're making. They're building they're making a house. Yeah. Um, to then make ice cream in. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, exactly. Those those guys are really great. Um, country. They uh, they also do catering. Uh, they will have some other products that we'll be uh, mentioning later on. Which I should probably talk to them. Yeah, I should probably reach out to him. About so I'm looking also. about getting some con- or not, to get some uh, ice cream. Ice brought cream. over oh yeah 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 to get to at the house yeah so maybe some catering stuff so maybe yeah you need to hit him up i know i know <laughs> i know i know uh, hydrate yes hydrate is great Hydr- <laughs> being hydrated <laughs> okay so first off being in the desert yeah hydration need, is number one it. yeah you need right it. so if you're gonna go out and hang out and drink and have a good time or you're gonna work out and you're gonna lose all your fluids hydrate is the way to go it basically replenishes all your electrolytes all your your any all it gives you additional energy to get you keep going to go either from a night of hanging out with your friends on a late night to be able to bounce back to work the next day yeah or being able to work out day and day and day you know basically hit that grind and keep going at it so it kind of gives you the ability to just keep pushing and well, well, I've actually learned some new facts about hydrate also. Yeah? Hydrate, so all, all of mine were wrong or what? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, more like new, like oh, new facts. things. Yeah, new, new things. things. So hydrate's good for diabetics. Oh. Uh, if you think about it, when your iced tea is too sweet, what do you do? You add Drink water. More? You oh. add water to unsweeten the iced tea or, or curb it down. So hydrating, if you're a diabetic uh, and your sugar levels are high, you can utilize uh, hydrate, uh, hydrate.com. Uh, if you've noticed, uh, people that are uh, doing this new fad called the keto diet, mm-hmm. uh, they're ending up being short of energy. Oh, so the hydrating can put Re- them back up to that level without what having, you need. To, yeah, without having to put in the, the, the calories or, uh, the carbs or any of that stuff. Wow. So a couple of new things, uh, that they're, cur- they're, curtailing right curtailing their critique no curtailing like they're they're driving their products to these these different avenues to help with diabetics and people doing the keto diet to keep hydrated very cool if you guys use the promo code capital a amigos 10 uh you will get 10 percent off yeah 10 percent off yes yeah save you money and gives you the energy to bounce back to whatever you need whether it be to make it to work on time or make it to that next workout there you go uh, let's roll into the punches, man. Roll into the punches. So, as, well, talk. first, let's talk about the missing amigo. Yeah. So the chair is pushed way back. I almost started on fire, but since we're inside of a building, you we couldn't well, do that. Yeah. 
I so can't believe we do. Like, yeah, he doesn't show. Like we called him three times and he didn't. He didn't answer. He knows we don't so, have PTO. Yeah, we. He's not getting paid time off. He, he's the new intern, right? He is. He is. Can't even get him to show up for the show. But, I can't you know, believe it. But we still love so him. So unprofessional. It's it's kind of like the you know how we many can't times be the two and a half amigos without <laughs> an amigo like an actual amigo. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, because then we're just like some two white guys. Well, I have some, you know, a little spice in me. Yeah. But it it is not enough because we need Albert to be what <laughs> we are. <laughs> we need his so, pigmentation. Yes, we need, <laughs> we need we need the pigmentation <laughs> from Albert to to continue. <laughs> so yeah, so I don't know. But you know, we, we we miss you, Albert. You're kind of like you're kind of like we're like uh, you're like that that hot girlfriend, which sounds weird to say that, but like we can't let you go. Or, oh oh, like uh, uh, Brokeback Mountain when we watched that and talked about that episode. We can't <laughs> I can't let you go. Yeah, that, can't let no, you go, Enos. <laughs> which is Albert <laughs> Albert's Enos. But we can't let him go. Or anus or no, oh, no. Oh, weird. You're going, weird. Yeah, you're going like left field now at yeah, this point. Typical. <laughs> so yeah, moving on. Yeah. Albert's not here. We miss Albert, you. Yeah, Albert's not here. Miss you in a friend way. <laughs> so we implemented uh, with one of our guests a three strike rule, right? So should we, Albert okay, yeah, should we is talk? now going to no, no, I don't want to talk. Um, Albert is now on his three strike rule. His, <laughs> yeah. Now his next, his next strike is his third. His third, yeah, because yeah. he's missed. It's, I think it's gonna continue. <laughs> so maybe we need to give him more strikes, like it's softball rules or something. Like give oh, him. Okay. So I don't he, know, or like yeah, WNBA in, rules, like Indian, you can. You have Indian, to hit. You have Indian, to make Indian. it to thirty points. Okay. Or something. I don't know. Whatever NBA WNBA rules. All right. Well, to help we'll, them. So going forward, we implement an attendance policy. <laughs> like a punch card all right you missed another one, like 10 10 and then you yeah. get likes for those hr reps that are listening to our show mate yeah. hit us up so we can figure this out and set up a policy yes so yeah let's now let's definitely roll into yeah the so we have to, or, oh a uh, punishment for sure yeah to come up with is that what you're coming up like going with Something, like basically yeah. like like saying like uh, all right so if you miss up. you miss 10 shows which is giving them some fucking slack yeah giving him 10 and then if he doesn't show up then we you know make him do laps or <laughs> do a ton of shots and then do laps something like that make him eat a ton, ton of challenge. shot ton of shots do laps and then hydrate and then he's gonna go the next day yep but he has to pay for the hydrate himself yeah so he has to do We're each not. one of our sponsors <laughs> oh there we go uh, yeah there you go yeah. Uh-huh. yes ice cream yep. ice cream run <laughs> hydrate <laughs> And then, go get and then he has to go buy a house for himself. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then he also has to get a seat at like a, a game or a concert. Oh, yeah. Something. Hmm. I try to expunge that from my, my mind altogether. Like, I can't believe that that actually happened. Yeah, both of them weren't that good. I think that was one of the best Batman movies. Man, they've been, the ruin, they've, been the ruining, f- they've been ruining what? Batmans for years. They have been. The, like, but did me, you just hear what he said? What did, what did you say? Which one was the best? Or the second best? What the you best say? one is The Dark Knight. Oh, well, yeah, he's the best. The second best is Batman and Robin. What about Michael Keaton? He's third best. Are you what? You, dude, are you you're kidding like, me? You're on meth right now, How? right? No. Like, you're, you're, not, you are you guys are you Batman and Robin has Is he in New Mexico Ivy or Bane Texas? And Mr. Freeze. No, what the? F- <laughs> that movie gave you three supervillains. Yeah, no, gave you three, three super negative gave you Batman, stars. Robin and Batwoman. What the fuck? I, hear, I mean, I hear what you're saying. It's not a tumor, but still, it wasn't that good of a movie. <laughs> I don't think that was, yeah, that was think, an Arnold, Arnold reference. Yeah, right. I don't think it's better it than any of the Michael Keaton. I movies. will admit, it does not hold up. It doesn't. Yeah, you know. no. But neither does the Michael Keaton ones. What? Yes, uh, they do. Yeah, they do. I mean, not maybe, maybe the, not the, the makeup, they got makeup that. and things like that. That doesn't hold up, but. The characters, the movie holds up. There's no Batman way Returns was like amazing with the penguin, Danny DeVito. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess it's a nostalgia thing for me. Oh, it's not vintage that could be, enough for you. That's what it that's is. That's what it is. You're like a 90s yeah, baby. I'm, I'm a 90s kid, man. Oh, that's that, why. That you, didn't, you never even saw the movie. You yeah, saw that shit. on HBO. You saw that shit on Netflix. And you're like, what the fuck is this? They made another Batman with Michael Keaton? The guy from the, the McDonald's movies? 
Isn't that Beetlejuice? <laughs> well, no, you didn't. The you, no, that's from the '80s. Like the you didn't watch that either. You can, yeah, you can't like Beetlejuice. You can't say Beetlejuice and, and not like Mike Michael Keaton's mm-hmm. Batman. That doesn't work, dude. That <laughs> doesn't fall in line. <laughs> so you're, you're looking at you're looking at Michael you're looking at Michael Keaton from the founder. So why why is why is McDonald's? Is that how he got all his money to be Batman? That makes sense. Yeah, he's a billionaire. <laughs> yeah, all, he stole the McDonald's money, and then now that's how he got the McDonald's job or the, and the Batman one, job. Once, once McDonald's kind of ran its course, he made Birdman. Yeah, yeah, and then he fell to off to go on his life, you know, his life journey to show people uh, in a play atmosphere of yeah. like, oh, this is how Batman really happened, but we can't name it Batman because that yeah, franchise. and they were gonna know, call right? it Founder. <laughs> He's like, but I have these wings. What, what am I going to do? Here's some sort of Birdman with that. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Have, oh. you, have you seen Birdman? I've watched bits and clips of it. It's just, I don't know. It's not It's not for me. Well, you're a 90s doesn't, kid, so. You know, when I first. Edward Norton, like, coked out crying on the floor in his whitey tidies at one point? No, it's a different movie. That was uh, American History X. <laughs> No, no, no. The, the, oh, was, sorry. They were, like, fighting. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, they were fighting. Can he we was, make a comment of that? Like, <laughs> Edward Norton, sure. Ed, no, Edward Norton is crying He's kind of the in, bad guy in, in, in his movie. underwear in a lot of his movies. <laughs> it's true. I think that's his signature thing. It is. That's, you know you need the, someone to cry in underwear. The whole thing is to, like, show his tattoo, right? So, yeah. so he'll get Edward a script. Edward Norton's thing is to cry in his whitey tidies. He'll get a, <laughs> With a swastika <laughs> tattoo on his back. He'll get a script, and then he'll, like, it's ask for rewrites. No, like, no, no, no. I'm no, not in my underwear no, in this one. No, it's, <laughs> it's the it's producers. Like, Look, I love the script. But, but let's can I add one let's thing? change the costume. <laughs> Want to be in underwear, crying in the rain, on my knees looking up. But the so Edward, like a tattoo. Edward, your daughter's baptism. I just, <laughs> I know it'll work. I know, but it'll, it'll work. work. It'll work. Just run with it. Make Believe sure you guys this zoom in thing. and pan out on my swastika <laughs> tattoo. Uh, Edward Norton, crazy. And our podcast is shut down. Because yes, because our, Edward Norton. because our Edward Norton talk. Well, dude, we have a little bit more of our episode that we got to do, and we're, like, rushing through it because we have a guest coming soon. So I don't mean to, like, yeah, we started cut late you on. off and all that fun stuff, but we, we got to, like, move on the rest of our stuff. So, okay, so yes or no, you, obviously you said you're, you're all game for seeing the movie with Patterson. Pat, Pat, Pattinson. Whatever, Pattinson, whatever. Um, how many stars do you think you're going to give it out of five? <laughs> and go. Probably a two and a half. You think two and a half? So you're, you're going to you're just going sh- middle of the road. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'm going to I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say two stars for me. Mark, what do you think it's going to be? A one maybe. Wow, he's he's no, in worse. I have, no, I have no faith in it. I I like the premise on what you said with that. That's a thing. Is that a rumor? It's it's a fan rumor. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that's that's a good rumor. I mean, that's a that makes it good. Like it kind of opens the field to the next guy. Until Michael Keaton is like on board to the movie, and I see him accredited in IMDb. Either him, like, him or Christian Bale, that'd be cool. Either, I mean, either, either one. one. I prefer Michael Keaton, but either yeah. one. Yeah. Well, that's because you're old too. Yeah. <laughs> We're both whole, dude. <laughs> All right, Santiago. Yeah, there they are. There they the are. band's here. Thanks for coming on, buddy. We appreciate it. Good talking to you. Uh, yes. Anytime, man. So, collab in the works. Yes. Hugs and kisses. My people's calling your people's. Yeah. Yes. Uh, nice. <laughs> fancy. It's just a couple Mexicans talking to each yeah. other. That's all it's Ooh, that Albert's not here. <laughs> Eventually he will be. He will. Oh, yeah, Albert's <laughs> not here, so obviously you didn't hear him in the background crying in his underwear. With the swastika the pe- tattoo. He's the people that's calling. Yeah, with his swastika tattoo crying he's in the, the rain. He's the people that's calling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got, he's got some runners coming your way. All right, man. Thanks again. Good times. All right. No problem. Take it easy. Take it Later, easy. guys. Or you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was more than one. Yeah, I know. Uh, so the next topic is our... If, oh, let's just talk guys, about it. Yeah, if you guys... Okay, go ahead. 
No, you talk about oh. that. I mean, we so just, we have on our desk. We we're fans kinda, of Rick and Morty, right? Like we have kind of a clusterfuck. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. There's Ricks all over the place, which is typical. And then there's it, it, huge. We 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 watched Rick. I actually watched Rick and Morty last night again. Me too. I watch. I fall asleep to it. Oh, do you I, nightly? Nightly, <laughs> nightly. Yeah, yeah, nightly, <laughs> nightly. It's like my go-to to fall asleep. Like okay. it's, it's on the background all the time. Nice. Yeah. Normally. It's house hunters, not for me. The wife falls asleep. Right. Then she falls asleep, and then I either put on Rick and Morty to fall asleep to, or I just go to sleep. Yeah. That's kind of the go-to. And it's coming back, what'd you say, November? Yeah, November, November this year. of 2019. Season four, correct? Yes, yeah, season four. Season four. Super excited We for are it. very excited. We just want to touch on that just because we're big fans. We love everything that they do. The show is yeah, amazing. You can't, you can't have Rick and Morty news and not talk about yeah, Rick and Morty. Yeah, especially because that much. All the Rick and Morty shit we have everywhere, yeah, dude. Yeah, it's so good. We have Rick and Morty from day one. If, you, if you've never seen the show, recommend seeing it. Yep. If you... I don't know if you checked it out and then you're like, ah, oh, this isn't for me. Fight through it and watch it just because it's so good. I mean, it's so, it's so, yeah. so well written. And so it touches on so many funny points just because, I mean, it touches on topical things. It's, you know, it's, it's just funny. I don't know. Yeah, it it's is stuff. It is uh, favorite episode. I think we've done that before. We have, but I mean, we can't not talk about it. So I mean, the one that always chimes into my head is that Cinderell one, or the yeah, Council of Ricks, the Council of Ricks, and they go, and then the Morty's like the cop. It's almost like it's almost like Training Day, <laughs> like reverse Training Day almost, where where Morty's Morty's the cop teaching um, the Rick yeah, to be a partner. Yeah. And then Morty's actually the, well, not to spoil it for anybody, but Morty's the bad guy and evil he's Morty. Really evil Morty basically, yeah. but it's, well, that's the funny <laughs> premises. There's multiple, yeah, there's, it's there's multiple, 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 multiple universes. It's, yeah. It's a, it's a play on back to the future in a sense, which Albert can relate. Which we miss you. Um, <laughs> it's a play on that because you can travel back in time and you have different, different timelines and people. And it's, it's really like the show is like, infinite because yeah, you can't yeah. like there's no you could take it one way and go the other way and if someone dies you can just bring them back it's right which is lame in normal shows honestly but the the, the way they've built it up to go forward it, it's it's, it's great it never end really it's no. just so good you just keep continue writing yeah. multiple different well that's the great thing about a, a multiverse type show like yeah because they could really can go go up dude they could go and follow another rick and morty from a different uh multiverse because it, they just could go do that one episode well, that'd be good like almost like stalkers like let's go be stalkers on yeah. these other ricks and mortys yeah yeah like you know uh c was it c-135 that's that's our rick and that's morty us. right that's yeah. us so it's is earth it, is it c-135 or is it C-137. I don't know. It's one of those two. But either way, but we're not, obviously, nerdy. So we're not that nerdy about it. Yeah, to know, we, the, know the realm, but yeah. we, we watch it, or I watch it at least daily. I try to watch it daily just because it's it's a good background show like it, when, it, when it's on and you can when watch I, it yeah you when i jump in it, and watch it when i watched it last night i'm sitting there i turn it on and uh my son likes to sit in the bed and chill uh, with us while we're yeah winding down or whatever addicted immediately they're like oh do you like that show and he's like no and then he's like get turn another one on yeah nice it's yeah. a little three-year-old like yeah. getting addicted to rick and morty <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah Nice. Yes, so November 2019, I am super excited yeah, for that. Yeah, me too. So can't wait. All right, Cannot so wait. what is the next? Oh, wow! Well, yeah, this is time. The, okay, don't, teacher, don't, don't read it. Oh yeah, you can't read it verbatim. <laughs> it was literally okay. So this was our fill time part, basically. Yeah. So there was a and you and you said okay, it's Oklahoma teacher. Oklahoma, okay. Oklahoma. Oh. That was, you know, th I mean, this this kind of touches. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of brings it not really it kind of makes it more real because everything we've talked about has not been real <laughs> whether yeah, it be batman uh, yeah this is kind true. of more yeah, of a real it's, topic it's like a fantasy episode this everything's been kind of like all like tv and media stuff but this kind of brings it more newsy and home yeah to it but whatever so there was an oklahoma teacher another one so 
big thing that uh, is going up. Oh, really? Yeah. Nope. Nope. Well, they weren't on the camera. Uh, so they weren't on camera. That was kind of... <laughs> that was good. Is it? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. it is. All it right. is. So... Um, well, no, we'll just end it. And let yeah, it let's, let's go ahead and end it, but we'll talk about this with our next guest. And we'll wrap it up right here. And Where's play our outro. outro. And... Yeah. I don't have an outro. Where is it? I don't... This is your thing. All I right. just show up. Make sure you guys check us out on two and a half amigos.com. Email the show if you guys want to contribute to anything. Um, comments, questions, answers. Uh, hugs and kisses. Uh, hugs and kisses. Two and a half amigos PC at gmail.com. Yes. Thank you.